Continuing our coverage now of some shocking allegations from the mother of an autistic child in Jonesville. We told you Thursday about an eight year old whose mother says he was handcuffed, hit with the police baton and thrown in the back of a cop car after running away from school. Friday, his mother met with officials from the Hillsdale County Intermediate School District to get some answers about how this could happen. This as state police prepare their investigation into the matter. Liam Martin has our report. You do not hit an eight year old with a police baton twice. Christian Coloni is still livid. We all failed him miserably. She met Friday with Hillsdale County Intermediate School District officials to figure out what exactly happened to her autistic son Elon. And she says they were not taking much responsibility. Whose stance is that um, it was 100% the responsibility of the police department. And once they entered the scene, their job was done and they needed, could step back. According to Colody, Eli took off running from the playground Tuesday. Two school officials caught up to him and the police arrived. She says those officials stood by as the chief struck Eli with a baton and placed him in handcuffs. They're the experts. They're the ones that we trusted our son with. Um, so even when the police arrived, they should have stood up and, and done something. Coloni told school officials she wants additional training for staff, and she still can't understand why the police chief went as far as he did. The chief told us over the phone Thursday he did what was necessary to get the child under control. Ingham County Sheriff Gene Ringlesworth says for exactly cases like this, he puts his officers through autism training. Well, that's serious because these people aren't able to control what's taking place inside their own body. So we have to be compassionate in that sense that we handle them properly. And he says, according to that training, striking an autistic person should be a very last resort, especially with an eight year old. In Jonesville, Leah Martin, Fox 47 News. Colodi wants to see some big changes made at the school to prevent something like this from ever happening again. She says there needs to be a fence installed around the playground, and if the school ever calls 911 about a student again, they need to tell police about any vital medical information. Until changes are made, she'll be homeschooling Eli herself.